Hey guys, welcome back to Sapper Steel Forge. Uh, another fun week. We, if you can't tell by all the sawdust all over me, we're doing some woodworking this week. Uh, we're gearing up for the fall festival. I'm wanting to have a, uh, a vendor's booth at the Richfield Fall Festival this year. And so I'm trying to uh, create a number of little wood projects, smaller uh, uh, blacksmithing projects. So I'll probably be doing some, some uh, like uh, bottle openers, some small knives. I'll do, uh, you know, a few of the larger knives to show them, you know, for uh, display purposes. But, you know, I'm going to be trying to gear up to, to have some items for sale. And then, of course, I'll have cards out there where people can still order from the shop. Uh, kind of took a break from the forge this week anyways didn't have a lot of orders had uh, one more come in another ring knife these things have been popular lately so thanks to everybody that's ordered those uh this one's going out to germany so that's really cool and as you can see this one's ready to go back into the fire and get heat treat and then it'll be ready to go out the door basically so what we're gonna do is uh just trying new things now, if you can tell from the sawdust all over me, I've already been trying new things. I've already had one video of a complete failure that just, uh, it didn't work. It, uh, <laughs> I tried to turn resin on the mini lathe and boy, does that not work. I don't know why that doesn't work. Maybe it's the resin. I, I haven't a clue, but it just kind of exploded. And then we had some wood failures and so, yeah. But we got a nice piece of oak on there, a real good size piece, and I'm gonna make my first attempt at uh, like a vase or a cup or something. I, I really don't have a whole great idea what I'm going into because I've never tried to hollow something out. Uh, the, the closest I've done to that was the, the little ring thing, which was quite difficult. So, uh, I don't know if it's just I lack the tools or lack the skill or a combination thereof, which is the most likely. But, um, anyway, we're going to give it a try. So, I got a piece of uh, white oak on, on the lathe already. I had to turn it down just a little bit to, to make it fit. Uh, it, the tool rest couldn't fit underneath it. So, I've got that done. So, it's just a blank piece of wood now. And we're just going to go over there and uh, get started and see what we can do. Well, as you can see, uh, it's turning down nicely. Uh, we were just creating a little bit of a stem there, and we're just going to kind of come up, in theory, into like a wine glass. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to like try to turn a, a separate stem, or maybe I'll, I'll forge a stem and, and have, have a little bit of both. So that, that could be really cool too. It, you know, kind of showcase what what all we're doing. Uh, I know this has always been a forge traditionally until I bought the lathe, you know, very recently, but uh, I, I gotta say that this is quickly becoming a part of the passion. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I'm already eyeballing much larger lathes, not like a floor size, but, you know, something like 18 inch thing. Uh, it's not going to be in the near future because, you know, they, they cost, but I, it will be in the future. I, I will own a larger lathe and I will take on more more and bigger projects because I'm, I'm enjoying this. So let's keep going. As soon as I wipe off my glasses, which have just fogged up. <laughs> I 
seen on YouTube one time, there's a blind guy who does this. I, I mean, you're an amazing dude, but I have no, no clue how you do that. Because I would, I'm always, I'm in danger of losing the finger and I can see just fine. Okay, um, here's the thing, it's not bad, I just, I don't think I'm going to be able to hollow it out with this mini lathe, because I don't think the chuck's strong enough to hold it, so, I'm going to have to use another method, which is a little bit scary, because, boy, you can screw up something in a heartbeat. Or at least I can. But I think we're going to try to drill it out. And hope for the best. Again, this could easily be a, a video of me failing. So, and we're going to hope not, though.
I think that is going to be plenty. I think we've uh, we got it hollowed out pretty much all the way to here, which I'm going to call good. Uh, so we're going to stop there. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the, I'm going to pause this, take it to the sander, and clean it up a little bit, and then we're going to burb it. Okay, so we, we just touched up a little bit so we don't look quite so rough. So I got an idea how much on the outside needs to come off. So I know how much I can take off on the inside to turn it into an interesting little cup. So, uh, yeah, I said it ain't the world's prettiest. But uh, if you think you can do better, remember it's only a fair test if you have my same tools and lack of skill. <laughs> That'll rule out all you actual woodworkers, won't it? Yeah, that, now I can touch all the way to the bottom. At least get a shot in there now. <laughs> That's a, well, it's progress. Now, cannot stress enough. The first time we do any darn thing, it's all about learning. And all of this craziness that's happening here happened on everything else I ever made the first time. And uh, yeah, the first time's all about just, just figuring out how to do a thing. So once I get this worked out, the next time it'll go a whole lot faster because I'll know what works and what don't. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're still there. desperate and see if we can accomplish something with a drone. <laughs> oh man. I guess uh, we're gonna get this figured out.
Okay, so it's nowhere near done. But uh, yeah, Dremel Tools the answer for now, at least. As you can see, that is, that's coming along. We've gone from being able to hold a, a, about a shot of a liquor to, you know, a, a decent little after dinner wine glass. So we're probably gonna cut off a video in for a little while. Uh, just keep working on it. But uh, then I'll show you all the finishing of it. Uh, yeah, so this is this is working though. Um, you know, got a lot to do. Maybe uh, some videos on how to get the inside done better. I, I'd seen a lot on how to do it with the lathe, but unfortunately, this little mini lathe just isn't up to that task, and that's fine. I, I, I'll get a bigger one in time as you know, skill progresses. But hey, that's getting pretty cool. All right, quick update. Uh, it's coming along. It, it, it's starting to look pretty decent, actually. Uh, I think in, until I find a, a better way to do the insides of these, uh, this will probably be a one-off project. I'll probably practice it a few more times, but uh, I don't see this going on the shop until I can get the, the method down right, because... Uh, while the Dremel tool is definitely working, this has taken a while to get, you know, that inside carved out. Uh, probably run by Harbor Freight, see what I can't find. Maybe I, I need some more paddle bits anyways, get some bigger ones. Maybe a, a, another burr bit. I don't know what's up with that thing. It, oh, well, it's dull as heck. That's that's what's up with that thing. It uh, I've used it so much to dull. So I guess I'll need to get another one of those. That that'll probably speed things along for me. But uh, yeah, uh, we'll keep kicking, and I'll let y'all see it when we get it done. Oh, uh, hey guys. So it has been a long, long day. Uh, Got some more work done, but you know, I had to go to work, had to do a lot of stuff, and then I came back out here after the work today trying to. I just wanted to get the, the cut part of it finished. I, the intention uh, by the time I got it going was I was going to forge a stem for it, so it would be kind of a you know, a, a mixture of the woodworking and the metalworking, and try, still try to keep my usual schedule for videos. Well, that that's not happening. Uh, Frankly, it's, it's almost 8 o'clock, and it is still in the mid-90s right now. The, the heat is unreal. <laughs> the humidity, I believe, is some sort of a calculus problem. I can't even. It's so hot and, and miserable. But we were able... I did run into the, to the town, and uh, so we, we've got it. We've got a little rings. It, it sits nice in the hand all by itself. And I was able to hollow it out. I, I picked up some more paddle bits and then some drum sanders. And so I was able to, do, to really get it good. So what we're going to do just to finish up this video super fast is uh, we're going to just add a little bit of stain. Just to give it a little bit of a, you know, pretty color. And then we're going to beeswax it so that it will be, you know, sealed. Uh, we, we definitely want to coat it with the beeswax and not any other wax because we want it to be food safe. Now, what we can do, um, I probably won't, but you, you certainly can in a situation like this when, when you're wanting food safe stuff. A, a spray on or paint on shellac is fine. It, it is also food safe. Uh, the The... Let's say if you mix the uh, the beeswax with the mineral oil, it, it's perfectly fine. It, it's what you know we use on like butcher blocks and whatnot. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's 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 good and safe because you, you, you don't want something coming in contact with your food that's going to food or drink that's going to be toxic. So uh, yeah, I don't know how the stains really hold up, you know, food wise. So you definitely, definitely want to layer of wax on there. 
Now this this is a, the white oak that we took after the storm a while back. I've been making a few things out of it. I'm just kind of rambling right now. I realize while I stain this thing, but uh, yeah, it, it does. It's got a beautiful pattern to it. Uh, we did have a small knot hole that uh, poked through, but I, I just sealed it with some of the epoxy. Nothing wrong with the epoxy, that, that's perfectly fine. And I think on the inside, I'm just going to kind of stain it. We'll see, I might... Yeah, I think I'll just stain the whole thing. I think I, I was going to maybe leave some of it natural, but yeah. We'll just finish it up. I said, this stuff is just soaking up that, uh, that stain. And, and that's okay, because... Uh, it really it brings out a lot of character in the oak and, and who doesn't like some really nice dark oak stain you know that, that stained it looks weathered and uh, you know you put this with the uh, and, and I'm still debating but uh, either it's going to be a steel or copper base uh, I'm leaning towards a steel maybe something a little twisted or whatever and and you know just Give it a little, little something unique, and uh, that—that's kind of what the idea is going to be. Uh, I'll make a few cups. If I get this down to uh, being more efficient, I'll uh, eventually put these on the shop so that everybody can can order one. But right now, uh, yeah, first one, it's it's working, but wow, yeah, that took me way too long. That, that's not a very efficient use of my time. Um, you know, that happens. That, that's how we learn things. And, uh, yeah, the first knife I made, <laughs> yeah, definitely not an efficient use of my time. But, you know, 15 years later, pretty decent. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. It's, it's nice and stained now. So, uh, figure out what I did with the beeswax. Here we go. And we're just going to give it a nice rub down with the beeswax. And, and that's that's going to be it for tonight. I did buy a polishing uh, bit. For, uh, I don't know what else it might be called. But it goes in a drill. It's, it, but it's a little polishing thing. Like, uh, like the barrel sanders. So uh, to help to polish the inside of it once to get the, uh, the beeswax in there. I, I may save that for tomorrow. No harm in letting the beeswax sit overnight and just, it'll kind of dry and get a little uh, you know, like cloudy, but that, 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 that'll clean right up with a bit of buffing and then it'll be shiny and pretty. And you, you know, when, when you're polishing or, or waxing or, or, or putting the linseed oil on any wood, especially wood that's been sitting out for a bit, you, you, you know, want to use multiple layers anyhow because you, you just don't know, you know, the, the wood starts drying. And you don't want the wood to get super dry. You don't want it to crack. Uh, the, this, you know, the, this cup's pretty thin on the inside especially up here at the rim. And so I don't want that drying out and cracking on me. Because that, that would, that would almost be tragic. So having a good layer of that, that wax with the mineral oil helps it to soak in there. And, and this is where like using the linseed oil helps as well. And it just soaks into that wood which is temperatures really help with that because <laughs> this beeswax is, is almost less of a pace in, in getting back down to a liquid at this point. It is so bleeding hot. Guys, if you're out here, I, I don't know what it's like up north right now, but if you're out here in the south and, and, and dealing with this stuff, you know, stay safe, drink a lot of water, you know, you know, you, you've been around, you know what to do. Just, just you know, be careful. Uh, it's, this heat's no joke. Every year people die needlessly from this stuff. Alright, so that's going to be it. Uh, wow, that... 
it really does. It, it always amazes me. You, you see this just amazing patterns just come out. And, and I don't, I have no idea why that bit of it, see this is so dark. And this stuff was hit with the exact same stain, the same amount, and yet it's so light and it's got so much grain and texture. We, we've got, you can see that this is the little tiny hole that, that popped out and it's filled. Uh, this is a little knot hole that doesn't go anywhere, so it's not even a hole. It, it's actually solid there. I didn't dig down past that point. Uh, this will make a nice little goblet. So uh, next week, uh, I've got some stuff to do. Just got a new order in today uh, for another Woodsman Celtic knife. So... Uh, yes, again, those things have been super popular, but, uh, yeah, so next week, I think we'll, uh, we'll continue this and, uh, give a stem on there, and, uh, over time, I think I'm trying to figure out how to make little tankards and have, like, uh, uh, metal handles on them, and just do a lot of little, littler stuff that's going to be ready for the fair. You're going to see me gearing up for the, uh, well, not fair, uh, the, the fall festival, so, anyways, uh, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate you subscribing. Y'all blowing my mind. I, yesterday, 97, you know, uh, subscribers. That's, that's, that's crazy. It's like almost 100 people care. That's, that's crazy. I, I can't say thank y'all enough. Uh, so, y'all take care and, and, you know, be safe.